And the reason it doesn't matter is because of something called the drug exclusion rule. And the drug exclusion restricts the legality of marketing substances or molecules, A, that have been approved by the FDA to enter clinical trials on the path for seeking an Rx approval, or any product for which the FDA has granted a prescription drug approval. Once either of those two events occurs, the substance, the molecule, is no longer legal to be sold in the United States without a prescription, period. And there are no exceptions to this other than substances which may have been grandfathered, and by that I mean were in common use, commercial sale, and considered safe to use prior to 1994, or substances for which the FDA has granted a very specific document called a monologue, which is a ruling that says this probably should be a drug or it's also a drug in other cases, but for certain uses, we're going to allow you to market it. Now, There are some very, very smart people in this industry who've been in this industry a long time, from the beginning, Steve Sarich, Richard Rose, and many others. And the argument they make, and I'm not disagreeing with the argument, is that cannabinoids have been around for decades, hundreds of years. So they fall into the category of being grandfathered. Unfortunately, the FDA doesn't agree. And whether the FDA is right or wrong is beside the point. The FDA is literally the final authority on legality of marketing health-related substances and products. And the FDA says that derivatives, cannabinoids particularly, were not in commercial use with an established safety profile to the liking of FDA prior to 1994. So there's where the problem comes in. Now, based on this, the FDA would be completely in their rights and totally unopposed, well, not by consumers potentially or CBD marketers, but they would be within their rights tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. to put every CBD marketer out of business. They could do that, but they're not. 